بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, I would like to welcome you all um, I would like to speak in English uh, Number one, I would like to thank uh, Professor Muhammad Fosni and Dr. Sharif Amr the real engine behind all this uh, All what is happening, we are very caring to the generation that will come after us You will be the generation you will be the head of the vascular department in your unit. You will be the one that will bring in new technology to our country. So you have my full respect. And we are trying, we are the generation which is going out. And you as the generation will be flourishing. We would like to help you as much as we can. This is number one. Number two, the way of teaching have completely changed it. Usually when I say I have a lecture about catheters, usually let us see what is a catheter and then what we understand and we don't understand. This doesn't happen anymore. If you go to Harvard University, medical teaching have completely changed. It's now called flipped classroom technique. No one teaches like what we do now. Uh, what is flipped classroom technique? It is the other way around. I give you a book, you read about endovascular tools, you read about what you should know, then you bombard yourself with a question, and at the end, this is the time to put your question and get your answer. If you do the flipped classroom technique, your educational retaining for memory will be 80%. If you do the normal, which Okay, let us see what is the course. Is it good? Is it bad? What they're going to speak about? And then you get this maybe just 20 minutes lecture. Then you only retain 10%. So you can see by Harvard technique, you have boosted your momentum. So, Fadr, I saw Haga? Okay. So, what I advise you, that is why Dr. Sharif Omar has given uh, two books. This is the best endovascular books for you to read. Each one is about 100 page. I presume the all you all have downloaded. Okay? You should read it page by page. Second point. Uh, if you want to be a good vascular surgeon and you wait for government to support you, this will not happen in Egypt. You have to be a good vascular surgeon out of your own intention, of your own hard struggle. If you work in UK, there is something called the National Vascular Training Program. If you go in, you come out consultant after five years out of that system. I guarantee you will become excellent. I guarantee. But this is not in Egypt. In Egypt, it all depends on personal factor, personal perseverance, and good career guide. Number three, last point. You are in a fantastic job. You're young in a specialty which is Booming worldwide, which is rapidly advancing. Now there is vascular surgery even for knee, for, for, uh, for instead of knee replacement therapy, for osteoarthritis, you do genicular artery embolization. For morbid obesity, you do gastric artery embolization. It is vanishing everywhere. And the technology is behind it by far. They, there was a very nice paper I read a year ago about the best 10 medical jobs that you will get. The best one is cardiology intervention to do coronary stenting. You all have seen this. They are the most wealthy part of our jobs. Secondly is vascular surgeon because you have plenty of things that you should be able to do and help and with the widespread. So I wish you, you do reverse um, uh, classroom technique. You must struggle with your career, try to get the career advice of what you're going to do, and use the WhatsApp groups that we all are uh, among it in your training. I will speak about Caster. I hope you have read about it. This is ILO, which is the intended learning objective. You don't learn by accident. You don't learn by going into room. Well, oh, okay, that was nice. No, there is an intention. I want you to learn this, to know the basic information types of Caster to know the caster, which one to choose in which scenario, and the advantage, disadvantage of each one. You have a very fine uh, tool that was very good in your era, not in my era, which is online training. The online, there is a huge amount of operations that you can see online. 
like T-car, like T-var and E-var and complicated, you will not see it in your unit. This does not prevent you from knowing the knowledge. So I recommend you, you should see five interventions per day just to go to YouTube. Nothing fancy, nothing fantastic. Mention endovascular procedure. Mention what you want to watch. Because by doing this, you train your brain on what is called intervention result cycle. Which you mean, if I got this lesion, he uses catheter, he does this flush, then this technique, and then he passed it. You retain this information in your brain. Once you start doing the case yourself, you will be fantastic. And there is a paper published about that. If you have in your brain 3,000 intervention cycle, 3,000, you become moderate expert just by seeing. So don't say, well, we don't have the car in our hospital. We don't do carotid stenting. We don't do transradial renal in intervention. This is not an excuse for you to know fully what is the procedure. And Egypt is country number one for doctor immigration in 2023. So we are fluxing doctors everywhere. So this is my intended learning objective. What is a caster? A simple caster is a vascular dilator, which you see it for the sheath. And I had to talk to them, you give me some of the guide wire, and tell them you give me Astara, also guide wire. Anyway, I hope in the end you have Astara in your eyes to see it. But don't worry, don't worry. There was only sus omni caster, only one caster. Anyway, um, now types of caster, there is multiple. Ah, yeah, the one. Why don't you tell me that? The other. This is a catheter. This is a balloon. Uh, I'm sorry about this. No, it's not a problem. That's all right. Don't worry. Anyway, you will go to the company, ask for a caster. Anyway, because the meaning of workshop, see something with your hand. That is why you have a privilege of simulator. This is the best simulator in the world. It's called Mentis Simulator. It's number one. And this machine is something like 10 million Egyptian pounds. This is the catheter. Okay, you always look um, at every detail mentioned here. Five French, uh, the tip shape, um, oh, is it hydrophilic outside and inside? Is it radio-opaque or not radio-opaque? This one, when it is totally black, it is totally radio-opaque. Some other cuts will get a plastic blue line here, and then you get black. This means the tip only is black. So I want you just to hold it in your hand, so I will pass it from here and then take it from there. So this is a caster. Now we have plenty of caster. Now we have lithotripsy caster, thrombectomy caster, ivis catheter. You can treat your pulmonary emboli. You can treat your arteries. Everything due to catheter technology, which is uh, quite advanced. Now tip shape, nothing changed. These are the tip shape. You all have used the pigtail. You all have used the sus omni, the rim catheter. And the vertebral, the Bernstein, these are the caster. Some of these caster are 3D. Um, I'm not sure if you have used what's called the Hassan catheter. Hassan catheter is a 3D printed catheter that go to the arch, but it, because the arch is like this, the caster itself rotate like this and go to carotid. So it has a 3D curve. Um, I'm not sure how widely available it is in Egypt, but when you get it, it's like a packet like this because it's not flat because you are dealing with a 3D image. This is called Hassan catheter, which is developed by Dr. Hassan from Switzerland. And it has a 3D configuration used into the carotid artery. Oh. Okay. Okay. Sometimes when you get to speak to us, I locate it right away. These are the ship. If I ask you if you want to do crossover caster, every one of the experts will say, I prefer this, I prefer that, I prefer this. لو سألت بروفيسور أيمن السامدوني، he will tell you I can pass crossover with any caster you can give. and this is when your experience is quite high. these are the casters that you can use to cross over any aortic bifurcation. shall I use all this? no. you select one and you get training of it. do ten twenty times and then you become better at it. and this is where the simulator becomes an advantage. And we have put to you a simulator. You will take five minutes, wire catheter, and you try to do crossover maneuver. You tell me what caster you want, what wire you want, and you will learn. Now, in Europe, in 2024, it is mandatory 
to get endovascular simulator training. Mandatory. It's not advisable. It's not recommended. It's mandatory. Now, if you go to course like um, in Maastricht in, in first week of March, you have to pay 800 euro. 800 euro multiplied by the price we have here in Egypt just to get one hour of this machine, the same machine. But there is a discount with country with low GDP as Egypt, which is about 25%. So these are the tip shape. You must select what catheter, how watch fringe, and what shape, and why you selected this shape. So you must have the scenario of the patient you have. You must discuss the CT angiogram. And one of the beauty things about this machine is you can put the CT angiogram inside the simulator, and then you can get trained on the patient you will work tomorrow. You understand this? So this is the CT angiogram. I'll put it in simulator. I will try to do crossing with SOS Omni curve 2. Doesn't go. Rim does work better. That is better. So when I do the operation, I will use rim because I got trained on this patient on the simulator. You understand this? Okay. Now, these are selective caster. You can see the curve of the selective caster, how much a curve. Each one of them is indicated in certain situation. I have put it uh, here that uh, for you in order to know how much availability of catheter shapes. Uh, now, you must know about what is inside and outside. When you say caster is five French, it means the outer diameter is five French. Okay? When you say she is five French, it means the inner diameter is five French. Okay? And this is very important fact that progress with you all the way. And this is the French system of sizes of caster. I still have a... Why? Oh, the nomenclature, you mean? Yes, because the nomenclature uh, arises because the sheath, uh, you have two French outside, which mean if you got, let us say, seven French uh, guiding catheter, which mean inner is five. Now, the new technology from Japan make this as one French. So the International Radiology Society have decided this is how we're going to name this structure. The catheter by outside and the guiding caster by inside. This is just by nomenclature. And the technology now is rapidly evolving with this. So um, support the caster, you will definitely use a support caster, either trail brazers, or you will use uh, the quick cross, uh, navy cross, Robicon CXI, and now it is even CXC. CXC with the caster, which is hydrophilic. What is support the caster? The more you are near to the lesion, the better your crossing rate. So if you do manipulation from a crossover and you're far away, unless you get a support caster, so all... Oh, damn, just let me take. Robicon, excellent. This support caster from Robicon, from uh, Boston Scientific, one of the excellent support caster. What this tool means, it meant, it meant that your movement with your hand is transmitted straight away without any affection of tortuosity or any affection of blockage or anything. And this is the beauty of using support caster. So support caster is very important. Again, I will give it here for you in order to see it, see everything is written about it and uh, take it from there. These are the caster I told you about. When you get this double line, it means this plastic is not radio-opaque, but the black one is radio-opaque. This what you will see on the screen. Um, and this is very important. Now, uh, the length of the purpose catheter, again, when you are doing a crossover, especially if you done an operation to someone who is basketball player, so you must know your length. This is your homework. And believe me, your success in the operation is start the night before. If the night before you done your homework, you study the CT angiogram, you done a plan A, plan B, plan C, and you prepare the tool, plan A, plan B, plan C, I can guarantee to you that you will be 99% success the next day. So never, never to go in a place and what is this case? Okay, let me have this. Nothing. This is just the beginners. But if you are a pro, 
then you study the case the day before and the, your success is the day before if you done your homework. So for example, lens, if you are going to do aortic arch intervention in 90 centimeter, selective cerebral caster, 100, 120, and there is, there is now a new era that vascular surgeons should do um, um, uh, strokes, should do intracranial intervention because you need to save the brain within the first six hours. So if you don't have an intervention neurologist, you should be able to do it, especially with a caster called Benambra caster, which a lot of vascular surgeons have done this course. And you can get um, these different lenses. Now, for important things, again, for you to know, I like it to be interactive. So if you have any question, you don't need to raise your hand or anything. Just say so. This is the working position of the caster. Okay. Every caster has a working position. This is the place it work. But if you push the caster on top of the wire, this will happen. It will become straight. This is called unworkable position because you converted this into straight. And you will see this on the simulator. So whenever you put a wire in, the amount of wire you pull back, you can you adjust your curve. So example, if you want to go to the renal artery, and you can see the curve of the renal artery coming from the aorta, you can decide what curve you want according how much guide wire you put in. And you must learn the non-touch technique for renal angiogram. Never to touch the aortic wall because of the aceroma. This is the microcaster, again, rapidly developing, rapidly uh, giving a lot of indication to use the microcaster. Now, prostatic embolization, you can refer to Malik Charles, King Charles in Inglaterra, who is Malik in Inglaterra, who is standing Wali Al Arsh, Hawali Sitin Sana. Now, he is the king of the United Kingdom. He got a prostatic cancer. We are going to say, he had a biopsy, and he had a prostatic embolization. Show us the picture of him, he came out of the hospital. يعمل هذا ترانس ريديال ابروتش كان محطوط بلاستر هنا ما فيش قسطره ما فيش حاجه جاست بتخش من ترانس ريديال ابروتش على الميديال بروستاتيك ارتري امبولايز ات شرينك تشايز سيمتوم اوت اند ذن كيمو ثيرابي فور بروستاتيك كانسر دي كيس اند ذيس از فور كينج تشارلز سو مايكرو كاستر يو شود ليرن اكزاكتلي هاو تو يوز ذيم اند دي ار فيري امبورتنت تول جايدنج كاستر اي منشن تو يو the sizing of it and the lens and everything about it. And here is the guiding sheets. You, you must read everything written on the guiding sheets. You get a side channel that you can able to do angiogram before you put your device. It's a very beautiful tool. Uh, you can use it for a crossover technique. And uh, this is the purpose of it and the size and tools. And you get different companies with uh, different guiding casters. How to stay out of trouble? I try to summarize to you because you will be doing cases over the next 30 years. Number one, go slow. D don't try to be fancy or to impress anyone around you. It always hit, hit by, by mistake. Schedule the procedure that you have. Never to go on a case that you are not prepared for it. Always get a preparation. Read about it. Study the angiogram. Study, see the patient as well. Never to do operation without seeing the patient. Use two hand technique. Don't use a single hand technique. Usually ha two hand technique. We will use the simulator. Two hand technique. Wire catheter manipulation. So use your right hand and your left hand. And as like Dr. Sharif Omar Ashar, Garrahin can also many work in field. Like that. So we are all used to it. The field of vision is the field of work. Now with endovascular, it's like this, and this is better for you. You are seeing in different direction and working your hand in another place. وعشان كده الجراحين اللي بيعملوا لاب كولي أحسن من الجراحين القدام. والجنريشن بتاعكو هيبقى أحسن كتير من الجنريشن بتاعنا because your brain are accustomed to see somewhere and work somewhere else. وكل ده بالسيموليتور تريننج برضو. Two hand technique, multiple angiographic projection. This is essential. ودي الاكسبيرينس بتيجي منها. Think about what you are seeing. Always, always have, have a clever brain about your image. Every image tell you a story. And every image hides something from you and telling something for you to do. And the more you get experience, I will tell you, once you cross 3,000 cycle, بتكون الدنيا عندكو أحسن كتير. Don't be afraid to stop to bring the patient back on another day. ودي مهمة not to get into patient harm. It take one year to tell, to teach someone to know when to do the operation. It takes 10 years to tell someone 
when not to do the operation. It takes more skills to know when to stop and when you can defeat your ego and surrender to failure without hurting the patient. And a lot of patients have died from endovascular procedure, unfortunately. This is the type of caster again running through diagnostic caster and diagnostic caster tip shape. These are the different tip shape and each one is used when. And this is, don't worry, it's found in the book that you have in your hand. These are the sizes all over the body. Now there is even, uh, I've just learned last week, there is a trans metatarsal intervention. You just puncture the metatarsal artery, not the pedal, not the tibia, metatarsal artery. And there is a special called the hockey stick duplex scan, which is duplex scan like this with a small foot. You put it on the digital space. And then there is a special needle. Not only that, but there is a digital stent. So you can put a stent into the digits. It's called the micro stent, which is manufactured in Europe and being licensed at the moment in, in Italy. So you can use it if you are working in Italy. So the diameter is between two to four. This is for the pedal. For tibial, it's 1.5 to 2.5. So you can put 1.5, not a coronary stent, but a peripheral stent. What about crushing? These are crushing resistant stent. So you can wear your shoes, tighten it out. The stent will not work crush. My take home message, I hope I didn't take more than my 20 minutes because I see everyone is sleeping. So peripheral intervention skills must be mastered. It has to be. You cannot say I will do vascular surgery without endo. You're out. You're like the dinosaur. You will be vanished. Unless you do endo and you do endo well, your career depends on it. It doesn't need a center. It just needs a knowledge and reading and seeing cases. And motivation or intervention can pursue further improvement, focusing on dist uh, district specific indication, anatomy and devices. No other specialty beats an experienced vascular surgeon. Istafidu Bawgood, Dr. Sharif Omar, or Dr. Ahmed Sayyid, or Dr. Ayman al Samadoni, they have vast experience. And you can use the WhatsApp group. I have this case. What shall I do? Use it in what is called the group teaching program, which you mean not for one, but for all of us. This is the most successful in the Vasca series. So this is my take home message. This is my last slides and sorry to take a long of your time. Any questions? No question. Is either a good sign or a bad sign? <laughs> With Taufi. Thank you.